going on guys? NV Astro here, back at it again with another video. And as usual, we have said Hendo. Yo, baby daddy. Anyways, guys, so this right here, Gen Fan 51, 52 props. Used to be our favorite props. Not anymore. Get it now. Now, you see these bad boys? You probably won't be able to see until you read that. Let me see. Let's get that to focus. But it says 51, 52 S for strong. 51, 52 S strong. So, show them strong, show them, show them, show them the oh, strong. They're strong. No, no, they're not that, not that. The, the prop, the prop, the prop. The prop. The prop baby. All right, look, Strongs. go ahead and take a look at that. I'll show you guys a closer screenshot of this, but basically, Jam Fan listened to us. They listened to us, man. You remember when we did that 51, 52? Didn't I tell you? <laughs> you remember whenever we did that 51, 52 right. Blade video, and we saw how the hub smoothly transitioned oh, yeah. into the yeah. prop. This one. They I did it on their tri-blade. Yeah, that was it. That was they it. Did it. They on did their tri-blade. They did it on this one. The clear doesn't show so well. Let me see that red one. Look, the red one looks... Look at that, man. Oh, man. Isn't it pretty? Ooh. Isn't it pretty? Look at that transition from the blade up Anyways, the guys. So, on their old 5152s, let's take a look at their packaging real quick. And this is by no means like bashing Genfan. We love Genfan. That's our favorite prop company. So, they claim to be durable, which they really were not. High efficiency, they were pretty efficient. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. But the durability wasn't mm -mm. until the new 5152S came out. Uh, I've been flying, we got a couple of sets, thanks to Pete Gren. Mm -hmm. I think that, that's right. how you pronounce your mm -hmm. last name. Thank you very much for actually sending us these packages from Australia. We appreciate them and we love these props. Um, my experience with these props so far, we, we were limited to the sets we have. We only had about five. And we have, well, I have one left. You have a couple left. But the time that I did fly them, I flew them for the whole day. I crashed on them, bent them back. No problem. They sounded Get smooth. Forward. Yeah, flew smooth. It was perfect. Perfect. So the biggest issue that they had with the 5152s, they fixed it, which was the durability. And a lot. it would actually push a lot of people let's, away. Let's think about that for a second. How many prop companies actually fix issues, issues that they actually screwed up on the first time? Because they were almost there. And then almost, they said, you know what? Let's get this right. And they did it. They did it. And let me tell you. If you don't use gym fans now, you really should be using gym you fans should now. Be. These you things should be. are, they're probably the best prop. The best prop. Right See, now. this is an opinion, but this is probably the best prop. The other prop that could probably compete with the 5152S would be the 5050 Cyclone. Notice how Dow Prop also had like three versions of the Cyclone in order to get be. a perfect. Yep. And I think their perfect version of the prop would be the 5050. Yeah. But uh, the reason I don't fly that prop is because I just don't. That top end, I, my style of flying doesn't fit that top end that I'm looking for, and the gem fan does, and that's the reason I fly the gem fan. I'm by no means sponsored by them, but uh, I could just say that this is the best prop. I I just love this prop, man. It's awesome. I just didn't like the durability, but it just performed so well that I just kept flying it. But now I don't have to worry about durability with these. So you're actually getting your money's worth. What is still a little bit expensive though, at four bucks. Compared to like the 50-50s at like 350 you know, I think. It, it is what it is. You're going to pay for what You're going to get what you pay for. I, I you think want so. good quality. You want a company that actually made their props and, right. And we spoke to Jeff and at the Rye International Open. That's right. And they actually put some really, really good research into developing their props. They, they, this is very nice. They have wind tunnels. Then they put them against like real world tests. Like under their motors and simulations like that and I really appreciate that from a company that's actually willing to Perfect their product even better. Yeah, they so, went all the way with it. Love it now as we film in this video These props are not out for production at all. These are like sample sets right here So I don't know when this video may be out, but <laughs> you may get them. You may not but, but once they're out them. Be sure to get them because these props are really really good as far as how they perform compared to the old 5152s They perform exactly the same the only difference like we said is the hub and they're a lot more durable This is the prop that made me love buy props again Before I was really hating them too much throttle control <laughs> yeah. No, these things you're straight man So you fly great with them. big thumbs up to 
Jam Fan for Thanks, perfecting fan. and yeah. making the best prop ever. But with that, guys, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Peace out.